Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Luke Ness Monster, episode 12. And uh, if you guys didn't know, this is a series on my channel where you guys comment down below some questions and I will answer them in next week's episode. So episodes come out every Tuesday, so if you do want your question answered in next week's episode, make sure you comment down below and I will try my very, very best to answer it in next week's episode, again, which come out on Tuesdays. And if you are new to the channel, I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. I'm giving away this Camino Clone Trooper. It's actually not this one. This one is my personal copy, but I'm giving away a sealed copy. And uh, you do have to be subscribed to enter in the giveaway. So at 500, I will be giving away that. And um, I managed to pick up an extra one of the Arc Troopers 3 pack, as you can see in the background. I am going to give away one of those at 1,000 subs. You guys are probably wondering, wow, you're planning ahead a lot. I you know I am. I just managed to pick up an extra one, and I thought it would be really cool to give that one away. So at 1,000, I will be giving away the Arc Troopers 3 pack as well. And again, you guys do have to be subscribed to enter in the giveaway. And then uh, once we get closer to the actual uh, goals for the subscriptions, then we will um, make a video, and you guys can like comment and get entered into the giveaway. But uh, yeah, let's go and get into that first question. So this one wasn't actually a question on Ask Luke Ness Monster, but it was on my Arc Troopers 3-pack review. Go check that one out, link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. But basically somebody asked how I got it out of the bubble without damaging it. And um, so I actually did have this in the original cut of the video, but um, the video was too long and my editing software wouldn't update or wouldn't upload it. Uh, I just ended up cutting it out of the video. And um, so I could, uh, I don't know if I'll insert it. Actually, no, I'm not gonna insert the clip and I'll just uh, pull out my empty box here and I'll do it right now. So this box actually opens up on the side here like that. And you can slide this, um, this just slides out like this. And then, um, basically, this side right here is actually taped down, so this wasn't even uh, glued onto the card, but um, these three sides were. So what I did is I just ran a knife along the top of there down, and then actually only halfway through here. And then it was just enough to peel up the card so I could slip out the bubble and get the figures out without damaging the bubble. And that's what I do with all of my, um, all of my, like, figures that come on bubbles, so... I did it with my um, Empire Strikes Back AT-80 AT driver, so um, I just cut around the edge of the bubble, just enough to slide out the plastic. So I'm actually going to do that with the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett right there, because I haven't done that yet. So so yeah, it's um, not that complicated. All you really have to do is run it along two of the edges, at least for the 40th anniversary figures. The Arc Troopers 3 pack was a little bit more complicated, but um, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna run it along here, like that. I barely cut that. There we go. You never know when you're gonna wanna put it back in the box, so. I just cut down like that. And I need to get the corner better because I didn't get the corner. There we go. And um, see, then it just peels open like that. And you can slide it out. I am actually going to get a little bit closer on the bottom here. It's probably pretty hard for you guys to see. But I'm going to come along at the bottom here a little bit. And there we go. And just enough to where I can slide out the figure. And then the bubble is uh, doesn't look as pretty around the edges, but um, it's still intact. So there you guys okay, go. Okay, so the first question from Jay Prasad. He asks, here's a hard one. If your house was on fire and you could only escape with one Black Series figure from your collection before your whole house burns down, which one would you save? I'd either save Captain Rex or my Purge Trooper. So um, I don't have the Purge Trooper. I wish I did. I just ordered the new Gaming Greats one from GameStop. That should be here in a few days. So stay tuned for that review. But um, I couldn't say the Purge Trooper because I don't have it. But Captain Rex, uh, he is definitely one of probably my favorite Black Series figure because uh, I'm a big Clone Wars fan. And um, I just love the uh, amazing Tamora Morrison head sculpt on him with the removal helmet. It's just amazing. But um, honestly, the only character that probably beat him would be my um, 
just brand new Boba Fett I got. Review should be out on Friday, but um, I'm just a giant sucker for Boba Fett. Um, he's my favorite Star Wars character. He's um, really cool. His figure is actually like really good for the first Black Series figure that they ever really made. And um, his articulation still holds up today. So I think overall he's a really good figure. And I'm going to have to pick Boba Fett for the one I'd save. And that's just solely because I love Boba Fett. And um, it, I've been trying to get one for um, a little over a year now. Because I did miss the archive one. So I've been trying to get one of those, but I could never find one for the right price. So I was just super happy I could get the 40th anniversary one. So I'd have to say Boba Fett. Garfield Garfield asks, another question, what is your favorite movie of all time? So uh, it it is a Star Wars movie because I love Star Wars, as you can tell. And um, it has to be Empire Strikes Back. I just think it's the best movie of them all. I know um, Revenge of the Sith is a close second. And um, I know there's a lot of hate for the prequels, but if you go back and rewatch all of them and the sequels now too, uh, you got to give the prequels more credit. Uh, except for Phantom Menace, I still don't like Phantom Menace. I know there's a lot of people that do really like it, but I just can't stand Phantom Menace. I don't know why I can't. I just can't. Anyway, um, I still have to be Empire Strikes Back. I just think there is the um, most amount of action in it between the Hoth uh, scene. And the Bespin scene with the amazing duel at the end between Luke and Vader with the iconic I am your father at the end. And then there's some amazing like uh, training montage and everything with Master Yoda. You get to see the iconic Master Yoda. Definitely my favorite version of him is in Empire Strikes Back. I do like prequels Yoda, but I just think, uh, I think Empire Strikes Back version is a lot better in my opinion. Anyway, um... And then you also have Boba Fett in it and his um, debut. I do say that Reven or Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is probably cooler, but um, it is the first time you ever saw him in Cloud City as well. So I just love that iconic movie, and it's definitely one of my favorites. So yeah. David Felix asks, what's your favorite vehicle from each trilogy? Great job on the videos. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And what is my favorite vehicle from each trilogy? That's um, a really tough question. I never really thought about it. Um, for So probably the prequel trilogy, it would have to be... Oh, it would have to be probably a um, ATRT. Um, I just really like the Clone Wars and everything, and um, the clones use those. So, I mean, I do have my... Um, Waxer and ATRT from the Clone Wars right here. I keep him on my desk with all my other figures, and he looks really cool. So, I definitely ha might have to say um, ATRT for prequel trilogy, original trilogy, um, Death Star. I don't know, the Death Star is pretty cool. <laughs> um, maybe if not a Death Star, I would have to say a Star Destroyer, just because they were super cool. And, um,. Honestly, just thinking about original trilogy, there's so many iconic ships from the original trilogy, like the TIE Fighter, the X-Wing, Death Star, Star Destroyer. There's just so many iconic um, ships from the original trilogy, it's so hard to pick just one. But um, I guess then a uh, new trilogy. Honestly, there's not a whole lot of vehicles that stand out in the new trilogy. Um, I don't want to say X-Wing, because I think that the original trilogy X-Wing is better. Same with TIE Fighter. So I don't want to say TIE Fighter. Maybe the Star Destroyer, like the uh, Dreadnought from Episode 8. I know a lot of people don't like The Last Jedi, but I do really like uh, the ship. It was just really cool looking. So I might have to say the Dreadnought from Episode 8. So um, those are my favorite figures from each trilogy. Jay Prasad also asks, Do you plan on playing Star Wars Squadrons? Um, eventually. I haven't got it yet. I do really want it. I might wait for it to go on sale, though, because I feel like, of what I've seen of the game, $40 is quite a bit for the game. And, I don't know, I mean, I know Fallen Order was more than that, but F Fallen Order had a lot of content in it. So, I mean, I might wait for it to go on, um, on discount, but I've heard a lot of really good things about it. So, I definitely plan on playing it, and, um, I do really love these space battles from the, uh, Battlefront 1 and 2, like 2015, and... Battlefront 2, so I might have to um, 
get it because it does look really fun and I did really enjoy that from those games. So, yeah. William asks, have you ever watched the old 2003 Clone Wars cartoon? Captain Fordo is an absolute badass in the show. That is so true. Um, I have seen it. Um, there was a time where I was on like a long car ride or whatever. So I decided to look. It's just on YouTube. You can Google 2003 Clone Wars show. And it's like a, I don't know, it's like two hour thing on YouTube you can find. I will link that in the description actually because it is a very cool show. I highly suggest you guys watch it. That's where General Grievous came from. Same with Commander Cody. They all made their debut in the show. So I'm definitely going to have to go with, um, yeah, he's definitely really cool. I love uh, Captain Fordo. Um, I'd love to see a Black Series version of him. But if I had to pick a Black Series uh, character from the original 2003 Clone Wars show to be a Black Series figure, I'd have to say the Phase 1 Arc Troopers. They just look so cool. I love the style pauldron for it, and just I love the light blue color scheme with it as well. So I definitely have to go with that. And then, um, I don't know, maybe a HasLab, a Black Series gunship. That would be really cool. And I think it'd be about the same size as the Razor Crest in uh, scale wise. So I definitely buy one of those. Get a um, make a custom like. Uh, Art Trooper Gunship from that show. I'll definitely throw up some photos of what I'm talking about because it's super cool. So I definitely say uh, make a Phase One Art Trooper because they look really cool. Leo asks, "What do you use to record your videos?" So um, I actually use my iPhone. Uh, I have an iPhone 11 Pro, so I do use that because it does film in 4K. I don't upload in 4K, but it does have the ability to film in 4K, which is really cool. It does have a very good camera, and um, with the right lighting and um, all that kind of stuff, it films just fine. I know uh, when you get into darker situations, though, is when it gets uh, pretty bad. So uh, if you have the right lighting, it works just fine for an iPhone, and... Um, I, I, the only reason I do that is because I don't really know what other type of camera to use. I already have an iPhone, and um, it works just fine. It gives me the really easy uh, use to edit everything and stuff like that. So I do just use my iPhone. And uh, Leo also asks, how did you make your logo? So this is a um, very interesting um, question. I actually just went into Photoshop, and I picked two colors that I liked, and I just... Uh, cut out the uh, shapes I wanted it to make and it took like a week and a half to do to make it right and uh, that's what I use so as you can tell it's definitely not symmetrical if you actually like pull up the logo it's definitely not symmetrical and um, yeah it's because I just free handed it in Photoshop I need to probably get one professionally made uh, I might do that once I hit a thousand and actually get my videos monetized that would be very nice so, um, yeah, it's not terribly hard to make. You just get a free Photoshop app and um, go at it. Leonardo asks, who would win, a uh, Clone Army or Empire? So, uh, the Clone Army. Uh, they were genetically modified and raised from birth to be soldiers, where uh, the Empire just drafted uh, people, force they forcefully drafted people into their army. So, um... I'd say definitely the clones because they have an actual desire to fight and they have that, like, they're bred to fight where uh, the Empire, uh, they're just, um, they're not, they don't have the same mentality, I guess you could say. So, um, I definitely say clone army. And that was the last question we had for this week's episode. If you guys do want your question answered in next week's episode, comment down below. I do highly suggest you guys ask questions because I answered every single question that was answered this week. So if you guys do want your question answered, I will more than likely answer it. So please comment down below and I will try my very best to answer it in next week's episode. And again, episodes come out on Tuesdays. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe because I am doing a giveaway on the channel. And I'll see you guys in next week's video.